Welcome guys to yet another powerful educational video all the way from Pretoria, South Africa. This is your brother in the kingdom, Emmanuel Destiny. And of course, as you know it, every Monday we focus on analyzing the markets and of course particularly Nasdaq. We concentrate so much on it, we break it down for you step by step. So even if you're a beginner watching this video, you will be able to understand the importance of why you should focus and the bias therefore it creates for you as a trader to stay on the safe side of the market. So definitely allow me to break it down for you as a professional trader within the space. And of course, we're gonna be using smart money concepts so make sure to be glued to your screens till the end of the video thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe like and share this video with your friends and family let's jump in. okay family so we're on Nasdaq right now on the weekly time frame uh, hopefully this is all clear I've been trying my by all means to find the best editing software, I mean uh, recording software. So hopefully this one does not glitch or anything like that. Hopefully, right? So we're on the markets as you can see. And I just want to um, teach all the beginners within this at the same time get to forecast the market. And I just want to start off by going to the structure as you can see the four hours i mean the weekly structure we can see we have the, uh, the change of character we have all of the points in terms of let me just lock this in just to show you we do have okay uh, higher highs lower lows lower high lower low lower low i mean lower high and lower low i must not make a mistake I know there's some critics waiting that I just make a mistake. So we have um, higher highs, lower lows, lower, uh, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. So that means that it clearly shows that we are in actually a downtrend according to the weekly time frame. Okay. Now that we've established that, we wanna um, we wanna work towards establishing a direction for the week, and of course we can understand that within a weekly perspective it's only one candle for the week and it opens on a new one next week so now I want to highlight the uh, I mean the break of structure here as we can see so we do have the break of structure right here that validates that we're still in a downtrend and I want to take one thing I want to take this feeble retracement and I want to highlight this that broke the structure so the impulsive move or the impulse move that broke the structure we can clearly see where we have a supply okay so it shows me that we're in a premium market therefore this would be a high probability to actually start uh, selling right there instead of anything below that now that we've established those perimeters i want to take off this I want to really validate and go to a smaller time frame. So we would go to a daily time frame as you can see. So let's go to a daily time frame and we can see the break of structures still quite evident and we can see why actually this went up. We can take the supply over here or rather this demand that the market gave off and we can see why the market actually bought if we go to smaller time frames this would be relevant why we can see this in fact let me just go show you how that level impacted the markets let's go and show you okay so that's that level right here that's what impacted the market on a daily time frame now let's go ahead uh, still to the for uh, to the daily and we can clearly see on a daily time frame how that supply really occurs but now can i be sure can i count on the fact that the market is actually going up or going down which is uh, direction can i establish for you my learned friends now i want to take this poi and i want to refine it to this candle over here and of course that candle we can clearly see that would be an order block in the market i'm not going to take anything above it reason why we already have mitigation so mitigation simply means that the market is already you know 
touch that level for example we had a fair value gap here so the market already sold there so i'm not gonna type target that POI it's irrelevant for now and of course we can clearly see again we did have a fair value gap that was filled and of course the market did actually touch it by creating where we now have our supply so the only levels left that are not mitigated is this imbalance here and this other block so we can clearly see that that would be an attraction of the market to come and you know mitigate that level then we can start going down so that's my understanding of this simple elegant piece of price action is that we can have this equal highs that many people probably anticipated that the market was going to actually start to reverse them but i can take that and say that is my change of character within what i expect to be um, this week or going on this week and as you can see I can't really now take my Fibonacci again because this is the impulse that broke this whole uh, break of structure, right? Okay, so I'm going to take my Fibonacci all the way to the low right there. And anything above will let me know that we are going to be now changing direction. So many people are now starting to actually sell. I wouldn't say this would be strong enough to actually uh, come and sell the market because already what it was mitigated so we can see that supply right there this is why the market sold but we have this imbalance here that was created and i can definitely want the market to come and fill that up before we can start going down but is it just gonna go up all the way i suppose so or maybe not but let's get more facts and like thinking is gonna go all the way so i'm gonna go to a four hour time frame and we want to actually see what really happened here and we can see a bit of a change of or rather um, the market kind of resisting to go up and i want to highlight this cpi candle right here i want to take it and of course it did create an imbalance in the market and i do anticipate that the market will want to feel that as it's quite closer to it then we can start going all the way up into those areas on the daily time frame so what may actually happen this week uh, as is, this is just a speculation is that we may actually see the market coming down before before going back all the way up i, I don't know who was calling me but probably let me just answer if it's an emergency okay family so as i was saying is that i may anticipate the market to pull back before going back all the way up to this OB, then we can find ourselves within the remaining weeks of this year to actually sell. So we can have on a daily time frame, we can have about five candlesticks pushing all the way as one candlestick is represented within a day. So it can be all the way down, then the next week we have other candles and then the next week we have other candles. So this few weeks left about six weeks or so yeah probably yeah six weeks or so within them we have of course five candlesticks because we're dealing with the daily time frame we can have five we can have another five we can have another five pushing up another five five and then of course we're done for the week or we're done for the year so uh this is so far my bias it's not my final bias let me know on what you see on the market family in terms of that i am an intraday trader so i might not trade exactly this this is not my setup this is just a bias that i create according to what the um you know the market does within an intraday perspective i can react to that treat that reaction so this is not my final but let me know this is just to engage with you on a monday just to make sure we are on the same accord but so far i can say i do anticipate a pullback if not a pullback just a small pullback then we can start going all the way up again not just going up from up here it cannot create higher highs from up here it needs to create a higher low then we can create another impulse uh, to create a new higher high that is my take on this so let me know family anyway this is your brother in the kingdom Emmanuel destiny hope you enjoyed this i'll catch you on the next episode god bless you